Hey, welcome my YouTube friends to Scrapping It Up. And in today's um, class, we are going to get our cover page done. And then um, I also promised you that I would be showing you um, another way to help protect these pages because they're not in page protectors, okay? Because they're interactive. So it, we're not, but that doesn't allow us to put them inside those page protectors. So I'm going to be showing you those two things, okay? All right. So this is what I'm talking about, um, protection. Um, it's um, cardstock, and it's on all three sides. It's on the bottom as well, okay? And um, it attaches to our very back page. And I just used ribbon to um, hold it in place. You could probably use magnets. I don't know. I like the ribbon because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Um, but this can sl slides down. And then you have two photos here. And then you can put a photo here. And then this opens up. And then you can start flipping through your album. These um things here you can flip the back underneath the album so it's out of your way you know you can flip this one back as well but now it's out of your way it's tucked underneath you can flip through your album and um it just it just helps protect it from um dust and I did come up with a way to show you. Okay, then this here, and then I just put the ribbon. And you just tie it shut. Okay. And that helps protect it when it's sitting on a shelf, you know, from the dust and stuff. And even your page protectors, I mean, they, they can get moisture inside those page protectors as well. And so this would sit on your shelf and this would help it. Um, it gives it a little bit more protection. Now, the one that we're going to be doing today, I've got a wing that we're going to put on here to cover this open space. This was the very first one I'd done and I didn't think about it. But um, the one we're doing today has a wing that I'm adding on here to keep this all covered. Okay. So it's totally up to you. If you would like to do something like this, I just, it's um, cardstock and then I just done some stamping on it just to give it just a little bit of um, decoration. All right. All right. So here is our cover page that we need um, to decorate yet. And I said I would come on. I got to find my piece of black. Ah, where is my black? There it is. Okay. And the cover page will fit right on here, okay? So let me put this album aside. All right. So my cover page, a lot of times what I do is I put a bunch of pictures. You know, if I had a couple of pictures I didn't use in April and a couple of pictures I didn't use in September, I put them here. Or you can just do a couple of family photos. A lot of times I like to put the year that the photo album was made. On this one, I think I'm going to put a bunch of little photos. So I'm going to cut some photo mats that are four and a quarter by, I think I'm going to go four. Okay. And I should have checked that paper to make sure that it was straight enough. So I'm finding a lot of paper. I don't know if you guys are too, but like from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, it is not straight by no means. It's kind of aggravating. Because I found when I start finished um, doing some of my pages, you know, off putting the um, page attachments on, 
I found two pages I hadn't cut down, and boy, they were a little crooked. I had some problems. <laughs> so what I like to do is just kind of arrange them on my page. Kind of think how I'm, you know, I don't want to cover up the photographs too much. Or, you know, you can set them on here like this. However, you know, you want. Because a lot of times, you know, you can overlap them. It doesn't hurt nothing. Like if you overlap that one. Then this one will go on top of that one. This one could go under, underneath this one. Or maybe that's enough. And then everything up here, what I want to say. All right. So my first thing is, I'm going to see. I, I think I have just a few pages or pieces of full sheets of paper. So let me look, see what we've got here. We have blue. We have two blues. We have a white. Because we'll, we'll decorate those, um, what folds over and helps protect. So I kind of want to coordinate if I can. I may not be able to. Maybe I should save the blue. Ugh, yikes. Yeah, I have to, ugh. Maybe this. Maybe this paper for the cover page? Yeah, I think so. Because we'll need the these full sheets when we go to decorating um, to cover it up. So I'm glad I have these left, but I don't know. All right, so this is 12 by 12. So I'm going to cut this down to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. It's on the back side. Okay. Um. Probably definitely going to use those stars. I think that's the stars are awesome. All right, let's get this put on. Now, you can also put, um, we do have tags, we could, um, do some tuck spots. So maybe I don't want to put all those photos on. Oops, I already done that. Yikes, I hate when that happens. I'm about empty. Yeah, what is going on with this? Just a second. Let me... I hate this when this happens. It only happens once in a blue moon. But it does happen. And I still got tape on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that off back here. Put that there. Make this tight again. Stay underneath there. Hopefully that. Ooh. Hopefully that works. 
I did. Ha <laughs> ha. Just gotta be aggressive with it. <laughs> All right. So let me center this. All right. So now. I know I've got a bunch of tags left. But I'm not sure where they're at. That's all Christmas. Yeah, we do have a bunch of Christmas left, too. I could use some of it if I have to. Yeah, I'm not. Just, oh, maybe I cut those tags out. Just a second, let me, I know we have tags. Yeah, they're somewhere. All right. I know they're somewhere. And I want to get the year on here. I don't know, maybe, well. like that. I don't know if I like that either. That ain't too bad. So maybe something like that. This was the day. <laughs> Photo details. Fantastic. So maybe something like that. I'm liking that. And then we have all these arrows that we can I guess that was the only two arrows we had. Huh? I thought there was Let the fun begin. So maybe something like, let's get some wording down here. Let's pick this up. This life. Awesome. Oh, I like it. I like it. So then I'll just kind of pick some of these. I really like that. That turned out cute. And just how and how simple. How simple is that? Now, if you wanted to, um, 
Yeah. I mean, you could glue three sides here, put a tag here. You could put a tag, you know, coming out this way. Maybe a tag or just leave it like that and no tags. Um, I do have like these white photo mats. You can put white photo mats on here even if you, you know, just a. Ooh, let's do just. So I need to cut this down. Let's just do a couple of them. Maybe this one here. So I cut it down to four. So that one would have a white one. Let's see if I've got any more. I like that. That's, I like it. It's plain and simple. Put a few picks on it through, you know, pick you out a few picks from throughout the year and you got it. Love it. All right. So let me pick this up real carefully and I'll get it. I'll get it glued down. You'll see it in the final review. Oh, I was going to put the stars on here. We got to do that. We got to do that. Okay, where can I put the, oh, the other one right up here. really like to have one right here but how I have all that unless I would pick well we'll see but yeah there's my cover page I love it very simple very plain but that's a, that is a-okay So, let's get to the, all right, so on the back side of page 12, this is the right side, this is where we're going to be attaching this, and um, we have three pieces. Two pieces are 12 by 12. Okay. Two pieces are 12 by 12. The middle one and the top one. And what you do is you put it inside your scoreboard. 12 by 12. Felt something sticky. I don't know what that was. You start at one inch and you score every quarter of an inch till you get to four and a half. Okay. So it's 12 by 12, start at one inch, and every quarter of an inch score until you get at four and a half for the top and the middle one. You do the same thing with the bottom one, but it is 10 by 12, okay? It is 10 by 12. Do the same thing, start at one, and score every quarter of an inch till you get at four and a half. Okay, so this one's 10 by 12. These other two are 12 by 12. Then you're going to need a little piece that is three by six and a half. Three by six and a half. And you're going to do the same thing. Start at one and score every quarter of an inch till you get at four and a half. Then what I did when it, 
a half an inch from that score line, half an inch from your very last score line, I angled it. So here's what I'm, so we're going to glue this down to here is what we're doing. So that way it covers more area, okay? And hopefully this works. I have not tried this yet. So, I mean, yeah, I done it on the eight and a half by 11. I had never done one on 12 by 12. So I'm hoping this works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my, my grid right here. This is going to overlap an inch. You want to line up your score lines. And mine don't line up exactly. Okay, I will tell you that. Mine do not line up exactly. But I want the bottom one to be, it's pretty darn close. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some glue to this half inch or half inch, to this inch, to this half inch space, or, I'm sorry, an inch, jeez Louise, okay, I'm going to attach this with a one inch overlap on it, and I'm going to try and line up my score lines as best as I can, I want to make sure I get a good stick on that. Yeah, I've never done one with the wing put on here. So we're going to try it. Hopefully it works. I'm really hoping it works. Okay, this is a top. So mark it top. Okay, mark it top. Then you have your bottom one. And your middle one. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my cover page. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's right side up. Not cover page. My back set 12. That's on the right side. It's your very last page. I'm going to flip it over. And now you're going to attach just that. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Yeah, that still rolls pretty darn good. Wow, that's awesome. So now what you're going to do. Did I attach that to the wrong side? I did. Crap Olas. you got to be kidding me. I did. I attached it to the wrong side. Oh, well. We'll make it work. So now I've got to fold on all this to get it yeah gotta be careful which side you put it on don't do like what I just done but at least now you know what you can do <laughs> I'll make the mistake for you we can always fix any mistake I don't care what it is most of the time we can Fix just about anything we create. Yeah, does it make me mad? Yeah. <laughs> but what am I going to do? It's already done, did. I'm not redoing it. It'll be just fine. You just want to get that curve back in it. Sorry about that, guys. But, you know, at least it show you what you do in case you do it. Okay, now it's got its curve back in it. Because this is going to attach 
just this one inch. And this part here, some of this won't even attach. Okay, you're just going to attach it. You're going to start right at the edge and attach as far as far as you can on it. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to burnish this. All right. So I'm going to turn this. Second, let me clean my glue thing. All right. So I know this is three quarters, so it's going to be down in. I'm trying to think, do we need to go clear to the end? I can always glue that. We'll check it. I'm just going to go to my score line. That's what I'm doing for right now. Go clear to the end and attach it. Don't go over. There's that piece. That piece will be here. You can always Yeah, I'm glad I didn't glue that because I may stick a piece of paper there just to kind of or we could just cut that off as well you know just up to that well no because that's helping protect never mind so we'll see how it winds up okay flip it back over all right so that's that now let's attach our bottom and i didn't so how i do that Okay, this is all scored. I just fold on my first score line. And then I just fold on, just pick a score line and just roll with it. And burnish. And I just pick another one. Okay. And you just keep going like that. And I'll grab like a couple more away. But I wanted to show you, you know, just start pinching them. And they just pinch. And I am using 65 pound from Hobby Lobby. Um. I chose this because it seems to be a little bit stronger than the 65 pound from Michaels. It just feels a lot stronger. And I will tell you in um, the video before this where I showed you to put it all together, I wasn't thinking about it. But our page reinforcements probably should have been black, not craft. I mean, I like the craft, you know, that we were, where we poked our holes into. But these page reinforcements right here probably should have been black. And I didn't even think about it till I was putting one together in one of those pages I didn't cut down. And I'm like, why didn't you make those 
page reinforcements black. That way it would not have shown so bad. But I didn't think about it. I always think about it after after the fact when it's too late. It's the way it always goes. But yeah, I I should have used black. But oh well, I made it work. But I had a little bit of a rough place in it. Kind of like a little larger piece of wood that didn't get fabricated down. But yeah, the 65 pound from Hobby Lobby is a lot. I don't like Michael's um, 65 pound weight craft paper. I'll use it for photo mats, but I won't use it to do a bunch of scoring like this. I would never use that. Okay, do I got every one of them? Yep, I do. Okay, so bring this back in here. Now, <clears throat> let's see, this is the bottom one. So, let's see if I can't do it this way. It's going to go right here. Start at the very edge. Ah, that's just a hair over. And I know I checked this paper. I thought I did. Oh, that's 12. It's, that's good. Okay. So now I'm just going to apply my glue. Right along that edge. Make sure all your gussets are up. Okay. I'm just going to fold this one back for right now, okay? I'm going to go ahead and fold this one back as well. Find me a score line and fold it back. Okay, now our middle one, and I did taper these ends just a little bit. Okay. Now, you want it to be in between... So if yours is a little bit longer, make sure you trim it off. You don't want it, you want it to be, you know, this score line with that score line. You want it to be even. And I'm going to trim mine just a hair. I don't want it interfering. All right, looks good. So now I'm just going to glue this right here. Oh, shoot, I'll have to go out and grab my album. <clears throat> And run it right along the edge. Just make sure you have all your score lines up above you. Give her a good burnish. Oops. All 
All right. Thanks. So now this piece here will fold in, then this piece, then this piece. All right. So now what you want to do, need to determine, and I would, I would recommend ribbon. Because if you use magnets and you, I wouldn't put the magnets on until you have all your pictures in. Then you could do your magnets. Um, because if you don't have your pictures in, you put your magnets here and you put your pictures in, then your magnets may not meet up. So I always use ribbon. So let me grab my ribbon. Okay. So now I'm going to go on the back side and I'm just going to fold along the score line. And I'm going to mark, let's see, it's 12, 12 inches, so halfway is right here. So I'm just going to come up here, 12 inches, halfway is right here. Okay. And it does take quite a bit of ribbon. And I'm going to use my score pout tape. You don't want to go clear to the end because you're going to um, decorate this with paper. And you can put a photograph on back of here too. Or a reflection page that has, you know, I, a lot of times I do a reflection page that I talk about the whole year. You know, what would I like to see in 2024? You know, maybe what was the really good times of the year? What could I maybe done better or would like to change? Or just what I'm grateful for. All right, I made mine 24, let's see, 24, 34, about 44 inches. It's probably way too long, but I'd rather it be, <coughs> excuse me, I'd rather it be too long than not long enough. We have that so now you can put any kind of paper on the back of here and these do go over so I would leave your piece of paper and I'm gonna look at my Christmas paper so I know I have maybe I can use this green here that you know doesn't look too oh there's a yellow me saying ooh yellow oh look at the stars maybe is that centered around christmas but uh, i don't know i don't think it's centered around chris oh there's a gingham and i'm not big on gingham can't really read with this paper oh yeah there's sleigh so maybe i should just use the yellow Oh, it are, oh, hopefully I haven't already cut that down. <coughs> All right. Oh, do I really want to use yellow? I don't think I could use that red with... I'm going to use the red. Okay. 
All right. I'm just seeing if I need to cut. Because that should be the edge, right where your score lines are, are, are your edges. Why is this paper longer? That's kind of weird. Just a sec. Did I miss? Okay, that's right on the edge. I just want to make sure I didn't put one of my score lines down. Okay. But why is my paper? It should fit. See, it's going into. Oops. Oh well. So I'm going to cut off a quarter of an inch. Or eighth of an inch, sorry. Just an eighth of an inch. Now it should fit. That is weird. All right. Now, I think I want to glue this. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't kick me in the butt for using glue. But I imagine it probably will. Me and glue sometimes do not get along. Oh, I know what I want. I want to add some extra glue. And this is directional. So I better make sure. I'm going to be covering most of it up anyway with uh, um, my reflections. So that's okay. So it really won't matter anyway. I got glue around there. Yuck. See, I told you it would. That yeah, just goes right. Let's go down just to here. Come on. For a good burnish. All right. Now you can flip it over, and now you can decorate. The main, the main parts, if you would like. Um, oops. And then the ribbon would come over and you would tie. Of course, you know, and get our album in here. And I may cut that little, what I was telling you about this little square. I may cut that um, off. So now you can decorate <clears throat> this with paper. Um, and like I did on my other one. I just put the paper down here. I put the year. And I'm probably going to do about basically the same thing. Then I had two photo mats. And then when it flipped open, the middle one just had one photo mat. All right. All 
All right. Shall I go get my album? Just a second. Let me go grab my album and I'll put it in there for you. Just a second. Let me go grab it. So let's see what happens. And I will tell you, you're not going to get all 12 of these in a binder. This is a We Are Memories Keeper binder, and she's packed full. Packed full. So you're not going to, unless you find a bigger binder, I don't think. And it depends on how many pictures you have, too. But it's it's packed full, guys. All right, so shut that. And these would all go. Get that up there. And I will be doing a final review when I get it all done. I'll get those decorated, and I'll come back with a final review. See, it's already about ready to pop the top of my rings so this folds over then this folds over yeah see i need to get it to where it's rolling again i need to work with it I tried to give you plenty of room just in case. Okay, top one comes all the way down. Just in case, you know. And I may cut that just a little bit more. It just all depends on how stuffed yours is. And then this, this ties. Of course, it'll be better once I get decorated with paper. And my ribbon is way too long. It's always way too long. All right. There. See? Now it's protected a little bit more than the other one. Yeah, see, uh, we're bulging. <laughs> yeah. Your top one maybe doesn't need quite as much. But yeah, at least it helps pr helps protect it, you know, bottoms, sides. I mean, yeah, you've got a little bit of a gap here, but... When this is inside of a shelf, this is inside of the shelf. It's this part that's not. So this is protected a little bit more than my other one. But yeah, we're bulging, guys. So I know you're not going to get all 12 pages in one binder. There, there's just no way. No way, guys. Okay. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, I will get that all decorated, um, what we just done. And I will come back with a final review on this. Um, I won't have my pictures in here. That will come with time. Okay. But um, I will do a final review on this to show you guys. And then I'm going to start working on the 8.5 by 11 size that goes with the tutorial. So... If you would like the eight and a half by 11 size, you um, would need to purchase the tutorial. Okay. So, yeah, it'll be different once we get it all um, decorated, get this all decorated. It fits a lot better. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have enjoyed um, this series of interactive scrapbook pages that I've done for you. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'd be happy to know what you think. All right. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.